Message me when we're going civil. We're good. What? I didn't hear that. Sounds like we are live. If we are not, it looks like we just need to ready. We are live. We are live. It is, uh, what is it today? The 12th, January 12th. And this is our first theme left for Thursday. Uh, today is, oh shit, I need to turn that off. Today is, uh, is our first theme, and it is Young Guns versus the Geezers. The Geezers are, uh, made up of our 30 plus year olds, and, uh, anyone under 30 is a Young Gun, technically. Yeah, it's working. Alrighty, we're just waiting for some ready ups from two people. to say. I think that the uh, the young guns have a pretty decent advantage. Oh, and it looks like we are looks like we're alive. Jeez. Yoink. Grab and peel. Alright, and we are live. Sorry about that, folks. We're getting set up here. Looks like we have a spitter, jockey, hunter, and Tank spawned in already. With Walker's run in the tank, with Kanadi as a spit, Texan as a hunter, and and Mivad as a jockey. Apparently, I am blind. And that early tank spawned in. Early tank spawned in. There are teasers done in the infected here first against the whippersnappers. Whippersnappers are Jet Rush, Wand. Major, Adam, and Jude. Should be an interesting match. The tank, the tank is a s- Tank goes in, he's getting some pretty heavy chip here, but uh, he's retreating. He's already down to about half health. Not the best in intro for Walker here as this tank. Hopefully he's uh, gonna have some support from his other infected soon. The tank was able to get out of there. I'm surprised they didn't follow him a little bit more as he had no support and was well checked. Oh! Boomer was popped there. That's going to make it hard for this tank to hit. I expect he'll just wait around. He has decent rage, so I believe. So he'll just try and wait, not get chipped, and get his support in. <laughs> Hank is going in here, it uh, looks like this is going to be it, and he is dead. Hank is down. Now we have just a jockey left, trying to get a hit, get in there little guy. Can't do it. And the survivors go back to get some ammo. All right, they're crossing the bridge. That can be pretty tricky, but only if there is SI to hit you there. If there's not, uh, pretty easy run. Let's see if this boomer can get a decent hit here, and he gets one. So today we're playing uh, Metafoggle, which if you don't know, ooh, the charger lands well, and Jude is stuck in spit, but he gets out of it. Pretty good hit by the charger there. Is he almost? Uh, who is he down there? Is that, is that blonde? Is it blonde or jet? I did not see exactly who he grabbed. But uh, here we go. Next spawn in. Me bad will be controlling a smoker, and on this ladder, it's, uh, a smoke plus a charge can equal some pretty heavy uh, damage and possibly a kill with that, that back leg. But they all got the ladder safely. Yeah, the survivors are doing some pretty good work here. Getting forward pretty quick. Reloading! I hear a witch! 
See, the key, the key here is the boomers. If you can get a boomer, all, it's all about that. You get the horde and it sets off all kinds of hits. Hunter gets a pretty good, decent damage. 13 there on the pounce. Spitter spits in. Nothing to combo with, and they just easily avoid it. Oh, but a good smoke there by Jude. Unfortunately, I think he can get hit and cleared. No, it does not look like they're going to be able to get it. They might hit that tongue, though. He's, get, he's getting some pretty good damage, at the least. And if he can down Jude here, it's over. And Jude is dead. So you have to leave Jude. Survivor's still doing some pretty good work here. What do you think, Brett? Reloading! Yeah, getting that in there is uh, pretty helpful for the infected to mi minimize any point in the situation. Boom off. Uh, and he does, that's a triple boom on all three. With the hunter, you might say, until he gets some support. I don't know, he'll have he'll have some pretty decent support from the zombies, but uh looks like they're a little late on their way in. And that AI smoker is still behind. Or no, not AI, sorry. That's me bad still in control of that smoker. Dude is now dead. Oh, we have a we have a down. And a and a missed charge, unfortunately. That would have been catastrophic. We get some punches and more spit on the ground. Looks like they're gonna be ended pretty quick, but they made it pretty far. This is a pretty short map. But they they got Jet Rush up, and they're gonna try to get forward to the safe room, which is right inside the Harbor View Hotel. Right. Oh, and a tri another triple boom. These are big. gennady has got a smoke back, maybe. Got to be their last chance for a hit. They have the triple cap if they can just get it. It'll be tough. Oh, they have two down in the safe room, and the last one's Jockey. That's big. No health bonus and no completion bonus. Yeah, I'll help out with anyway. Really a pretty good run there by our uh, young whippersnappers to get at least three to the safe room. They didn't get any health bonus. Let's see if we can have their, uh, our old geezers continue and put up a fight possibly in that or pack up our uh, young guys. So remember, they have to deal with the tank right away and spawn here. The the geezers will see how good of a shot they get on this. Well, oops, we wait for them to uh, ready up here. We got two left. What 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 do you want the uh, young the uh, geezers here to think they'll do? I expect to see. Uh, Hopefully they'll play this tank pretty slow and... Yeah, I mean, the spawn area in this one is probably the best place to play the tank. I mean, inside where these, uh, you know, the tables of potted plants are, I'm assuming this is some sort of greenhouse given by the, the glass ceilings. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll just play it in pretty much the same way that the, the whippersnappers played it. Someone's gonna need these. Alright, so we're going again, and we got a boomer. Boomer's gonna try to get some sort of uh, some early boom here, maybe help out his tank, but the tank still hasn't spawned. And the, the, the geezers are just sitting up top, helping some common. Not a bad, uh, not a bad initial strategy. Jump, fat man, jump. So the tank is still not spawned. They're just sitting back, picking up commons. It's a pretty safe way to play. The old guys do, as we keep talking about, know that that tank is in spawn right here. So I imagine they'll try and clear this room as best they can so they don't have any problem to deal with. And then spawn that tank and maybe run back and play it. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised to see if we play a pop or something along those lines. As we have a boom connect there with the two. This is a good boom by, uh, I believe that was Jet Rush. Maybe not, maybe, no, it was definitely Rush. Rush got that boom in, got two, and it's going to create a bit more horde. And we had the tank spawn in that as well. And it's controlled by Mr. Blonde. We have a uh, hunter spawn. There is a hunter in the safe room, but he is, I believe, AI, and now he's dead. 
tank. Did not take any chip there. Oh, there was a 40 damage bullet. He's just sitting back. I don't think his uh, I don't think his rage will uh, will drain here. Oh, and we have another boom, a single boom this time. And if you did not know this, Metafoggle, there is uh, there's no proxy boom. So when the boomer blows up and he's next to someone, it does not do any damage. Or not damage, but it does not, it does not throw puke around. The tank is, the tank is still, still sitting back, waiting for his chance to go in. And this is the boring part of Metafoggle. It's left for dead in general. Yay, tank sitting back. Jockey does spawn in. Hunter spawns in. On and we do have a charger now. So the support is still jumping around. Charger's in. One is down. Tank is doing, Tank is doing really well here. He's getting. Oh, now he's got he's got Bill Trap beneath as well. We got a, oh, we got a hunter. This looks like it's, it is the end. That is a wipe. Boom. I did not even see that hunter land a nice little perch top. Uh, guy up top and the charger completes it. And a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty sad score there. 53 points for the geezers. 362 for the whippersnappers after one chapter. And uh, I can't say I didn't expect this. Blonde, blonde had the tank. And he's, he's pretty good with the tank. Better than most. I'd say. Well, what would you think? It's, it's really hit or miss with most players. I wasn't able to pay much attention to that match, but it did seem to be a well played, well played uh, tank by our uh, young gun. You know, everybody gets like the same facts. Alrighty, three sixty two for the for the whippersnappers and fifty three. Yes, fifty three. For the geezers. As we wait to ready up here. Alright, as we wait to ready up here, I uh, finally found what I can go over our uh, metafoggle here. There is a slight difference from what many are used to. We've never actually played meta before. But there is a uh, limit to three Uzis. There are extra props randomly throughout the map, depending on the map. I'm not sure where they are in this with dead air as we're playing. There's also fewer pills, adrenaline, and only one vial with no other throwables. That's all the changes for our survivors. Other than that, the tank's hittables do not disappear until the tank is dead. So it's an interesting toggle. Uh, the word plus me. Wish. What's the word I'm looking for? Yep, we are just waiting for the last player to ready. I don't know exactly who it is. Uh, but, we are, but we're going live right here. And this one is a bit tricky as they come out and don't expect to see any hits on that inside area. That's a little bit of a trap if you're in fact going to try to hit there. Not very smart. Most try to hit as they come out of the double garage door. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good hit, especially if you get the high pounds, the high pounds if. Uh, Civil showing you this hunter spot. It's a pretty, pretty decent spot. Well, well atop the crane. It's a good, it's a good hit. It's a 25 damage pound. So well, we do have a setup here of a boomer jockey hunter spitter. So I imagine we'll see a lead in there with the hunt, the boom right on that, with this, and then the spitter following onto that and the jockey. It is unfortunately only a two cap. No. Third, so oh, the boomer does lead in there. You got a Watch out! Fortunately, they only went in with two. Let's we'll see how uh how they play it. Oh, they're waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And ooh, we got a charger up top. This is this could be bad. 